Sarcastic and in this uh, video tutorial I'm going to be talking about how to plan art lessons. So let's dive in on this episode and let's make some art. So you're going to kind of create your plan of what your year is going to look like. So um, what you're going to do in each month and in what order. So what I like to do is just print off a page or get a piece of paper right at the top of the month. Um, and then I'll, you know, put lines down it. Grade one, grade two, grade three, whatever grades you're teaching. Uh, and then what you're going to teach for each grade in each month. And you're going to think about how you're going to scaffold the learning. So you're going to start off with easier or lessons, really easy. Take it back to the previous grade. Okay. Think about, okay, I'm te these are grade fours, but I'm going to do a grade three level project or activity because we don't know where they're at. They, we have had some loss of learning through the summer and they're just getting back into it. They're excited and distracted by all their new friends or whatever. And, we're just getting into the routine of things and we really want to focus on building their confidence. We don't want to lose them by just like starting off with something super hard and that's it, right? They're not going to be like, wow, this is too hard. I suck at art at the end. So we want to really build their confidence at the very beginning. So starting off with something a little bit easier um, when as you think about planning and, you know, doing your scope and secrets. Now do it in like pencil because you're going to move it around probably, but you really want to start off with thinking about making the scope and sequence, so what you're going to teach in what month for each grade that you teach for the months of the year you teach. So for instance, you might teach August to May, and where I live we, te we teach uh, September to June, end of June, very end of June. Maybe you are starting in January. Whatever it is, you're going to create your scope and sequence for when, for your, the months you're teaching. So what you're going to teach in each month. All right, and it's just a general ideas. Next, you're going to number two, write in ideas for art projects or art lessons. So for instance, I would, in my scope and sequence, think about what curricular targets I want to meet in each of those months. And now I'm gonna pair those curricular targets or curricular content pieces with art projects. So we're taking our scope and sequence and the curricular targets that we want to meet throughout each month and now we're going to pair some art projects with them. Okay, so I want to meet this, this, and this in August. Can I do, how many art projects would it take to meet these? Can I fit a bunch of targets, curricular targets, with that one art project? That would be great. <laughs> so we want to think about at least getting two or three um, curricular content pieces met or target pieces met with one project. So thinking about pairing them and what I, so basically just writing ideas for what you want to do for each of the months. Um, and then having an idea of, okay, these are our projects I'm going to do. And then these are the curricular content pieces that each one is going to meet. And then that way you can have a general idea of, of what you're going to teach and then that you're going to meet the whole curriculum by the end of the year. So you're just trying to navigate your own curriculum, right? So I have an international audience. That means I have teachers from all over Canada, all the United States, and Australia, United Kingdom. So every, and, and even where I live, like everybody does not have the same, like every province does not have the same um, curriculum and every state probably does not have the same curriculum they follow so it's hard for me to say like okay this these are the ones you're going to teach because everywhere is going to be slightly different they're, they sound pretty similar so they sound similar but they're a little bit different so you need to find the ones that make sense for where you are um or just find yeah you'll find ones that make sense because it might, even the art projects that I create um, makes sense for lots of places. You just have to find, you know, pick the co curricular content that matches it. That's similar to what the wording is for, a, for wherever else, right? It's all, it's all, it's all very similar is what I'm saying, <laughs> even though it's different. All right. Um, so then you're going to, um, yeah, basically writing ideas for what you're going to teach. 
um, and then try to have more than one curricular content target met within each art lesson, right? So through through doing the intro and your and your um, exploration pieces, right? Because an art lesson might be like, okay, I introduce a topic, and then we're going to do our practice or experimentation part, right? And explore it, do some little bit more self-directed stuff, and then we're going to do an artwork, right? And then we're going to do reflection afterwards. So there's lots of different pieces in there um, that might meet different curricular targets. Um, and even within the actual artwork itself. So it really depends on what you're teaching um, and then how, how in depth you're going. But the more in depth you go, the more curricular targets you're gonna check off within um, one art lesson, like art work, art project. All right, um, next you're going to write up all of your lesson plans. So once you have an idea of what you wanna teach, you're gonna write up all of your lesson plans and include your curricular content pieces that you're meeting, those targets, in your lesson plan. So you're going to say, okay, this is my lesson plan, these are the mediums I'm going to need, and there's an overview of it, these are the steps to create it, these are all my, um, uh, and these are the targets I'm going to have. So then at the end, you're going to have all your curricular targets that you're going to meet. These are the curriculum that parts that I'm meeting, content pieces that I'm meeting. So that way when somebody says, okay, let me see your lesson plan, you okay, yep, this is my lesson plan, and this is the how it meets the curriculum. Um, so your proof is already there. And then I like to do, what I like to do is print off my curriculum and I like to check it off the content pieces and check them off as I am putting them into my lesson plans to make sure I know that I've already met that and I can move on to something else. All right, and then number four is to make sure all your examples and worksheets you need are all made. So now that you're done making your lesson plan, now you're gonna go and make all your different worksheets and your examples and all your handouts that you need for all your different lessons you're going to teach. So you gotta go out there and start designing. Um, you can use Canva, you can use Microsoft Word or Microsoft PowerPoint, it's really easy to do that. And you're gonna make sure you make all your examples so that you have something to show your students what the finished product is gonna look like before they start. Um, and then, number five, um, you get to teach your students. Now, if you're looking for pre-planned art lessons, there are two ways to grab them. So if you're like, okay, that's a lot for me. I don't know if I have time for all of that. First, you can go and check out my individual art lessons in my Teachers Pay Teachers store or TPT. Um, you can find that in the description below the video. It's Ms. Artastic on TPT, and you'll find over 900 different art resources and art lesson plans to choose from. You just print and go, all the examples done, all your rubric, your assessments, all your reflections are all done, all your step-by-steps are all done, so you just have to grab and go. It makes it so easy, and you don't even have to go look for ideas. That is where you look for ideas. Or, your other option is if you're an art educator and you're teaching all kinds of grades, I would grab the Artastic Collective Art Curriculum. It is my membership and it's open right now. It's open for five short days, so you need to make sure you enroll during enrollment. So join during enrollment when it's actually open. Um, it is my art curriculum. It offers you um, new art lessons added to your membership every single month. And then um, you're gonna have art lessons for the artists in art history, for holidays and seasons, for elements of art and principles of design, for sketchbooks, for ceramics and sculpture. Um, there's also going to be an art teacher growth course to help you plan your year with templates to help you plan your art lesson plans and your, um, if you need to do additional ones or integrate the ones I provide you into a scope and sequence to help you create a year A and a B, uh, an A and B rotating years. Um, so that way you don't have overlap as kids move up in your grades. Um, it's gonna help you um, with classroom management and teaching strategies and engagement and participation and so much more. And it also includes an art, um, exclusive art community form, all within it, so you can talk to the other members of the of the of the curriculum. I'm sorry, of the Artastic Collective curriculum, and um, with me as well, and get feedback and help anytime you need it. If you're looking to join, make sure you scan the QR code on the screen or look in the description below the video for the Artastic Collective Art Curriculum or simply just Google Artastic Collective Art Curriculum and join today. It's only open for the first week of August, so make sure that you join. Otherwise, you'll miss the opportunity and you'll have to wait until January 
<clears throat> until January as I only open my curriculum for my membership curriculum in um, August and January of every year. So make sure you join today and then you'll also get access to this year's annual grand bundle. And then I will see you in the next episode, which is um, how to inspire kids to make art. And you can make sure that you, well, you can watch that video by clicking the link above or in the description of the video. And I'll see you in that episode.